There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. <laughs> Wait, really? Got a better idea? Aren't cops, like, trained to notice suspicious behavior? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. Okay. Well. I need my space now so I can feel nothing. I live this nightmare so I can be something. Yeah. I do what I love and hope you will love me. Yeah. I face this nightmare, no, I am not running. I'm scared of being rich. What can I do? What can I do? How about saying someone's climbing the fence? Really? I could pretend they're outside, trying to break in. Uh, all right. What about those missing people posters? I could pretend I've seen someone. Yeah, sure. Might work. Guess I probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, oops. Tyler. Well, that worked. <laughs> All right. I'm in. You head now? Yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. Only gets harder the longer you do it. Yeah, I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop too. What? She smokes? Winter hair. Okay, I'm by the door. Come on. Police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community- Let's put the Vecchies next to- Can you not? If Eddie catches us in here- There's no turning back now. files, department budgets. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. Huh. Hey, you. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh, no. Oh, yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. <laughs> Burn it with fire. <laughs> yeah. 
You finding anything? No. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Beaver for company. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but phew, that's a lot of money. More back doors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Jeez. Three thousand? Holy fuck. That is a lot of money. How old is Brown? 38. Oh, wow. Graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. This guy has a record. And not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Seriously? You're gonna try to hack in- Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't- I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. brain <laughs> 10,000 IQ right now uh, looks like they're finally going digital oh that's right I remember Eddie complaining about this they're gonna have to resort everything great they've digitized their closed files but only the ones before 1990 meaning meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. <laughs> what? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because <laughs> if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay.
It's this one. Nope. Here we go. Looks like a step-by-step -step record of the investigation. Well? So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. TA-66585. A six six five eight five. All right, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March first, two thousand References zero five R sixty two seven sixty six R six two. Okay. She... Uh, yeah. What is it? She drowned. The stab wound was non-fatal. What? Wow. Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She, she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? Tw 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Delos Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I can hear you. It's my mom. She... She fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up. There. found a summary of everything. Wow, this is a real detective novel. 
Brown's quite the wordsmith. He's not a writer, Tyler. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? Stall him. No shit, Sherlock. Tell him you need to talk in his office. Here. Vinko. Got something. 2005, Okay. I need to check out 2005-201546. Okay, here it is. It's the same file. Wait, what the hell? Tessa accused her of child neglect. Zero five nine six eight mm. miss. References zero five R sixty eight MISC. Here we go. Huh. Why is that here? It mentioned child services. Search for that? Here. Huh. Bingo. Zero five okay. zero one. I need to check out zero five zero one C O M E B R. There. Unbelievable. Allie, Tessa called fucking social services on us. And Eddie went along with it. What? Where are you? What's going on? I need to get moving. Shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it! H hey! <laughs> Get off me! You'd rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky your family. You want to talk about family, Eddie? I guess family calls social services when you're having a hard time, huh? 
and then breaks the law to gloat that you're gonna lose your fucking kids. It's your fault she lost it, Eddie. You, and Tessa, and everyone else in this goddamn town. Okay. Let's talk. The winter before your mother's death was... hard. Delos Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. You know, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. So, she was struggling through the snowstorm of the century, and you reported her to social services? Tessa came to me and reported potential child neglect. As a sworn officer, I am required by federal law to report the allegation to OCS. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure to provide adequate food? Lack of appropriate supervision? Inattention to a child's psychological care? Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day, before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? Not. I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. Um, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. What? That's bullshit! You didn't forget to water your goddamn plants. He lied. You know what? Never mind. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but... You have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past ten years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father? Well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. Dude, fuck off. I'm sorry, Eddie. It's not that easy. You're right about one thing, though. It's time we move on. See you around, Chief. Uncle, I, uh... It's all good, Allison. Let's have a talk later. Just us, okay? All right. Can we go? I need to get out of here. Yeah, you and me both. What happened up there? Long story. Hey, 
You know the drill. Chin up. Yeah. Best you be Chin going, son. Add a girl. <sighs> I could use a beer. Me too. Burn? That's a no for me. Only Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she... Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs>